In this video, we will look at how the PS4 emulator performs on the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and a gaming laptop. I have tested 12 PS4 games on all three systems, and the results are surprisingly shocking. Before we dive into the performance test, I would like to talk about the current state of the PS4 emulation for a little bit. There were only about 65 playable titles last year. Based on the recent compatibility list, now we can play 103 PS4 emulation games on a high-end gaming PC. But just remember all those playable titles are 2D PlayStation 4 games. There are currently no AAA games can be emulated. The PlayStation 4 emulation is quite difficult, so I don't think we will get any AAA games running on this emulator soon. If we can emulate AAA titles in 3 years, I will be happy about that. If you want to emulate any PS4 games, make sure check out this compatibility list first. When I'm talking about PlayStation 4 emulation here, I think it's my responsibility to remind you guys, please don't go to this website called PCSX4. This one is just too good to be true. Their name is a copycat of a PCSX2 PS2 emulator. This one here is a completely different team with the PS2 emulator. This PC SX4 is completely a scam and BS. Just stay away from here. Not sure what they are trying to steal from us, but just don't never ever come to this site. The real and working PS4 emulator is called FPPS4 and it's from GitHub. If you want to test or just play around, here is the place to get the emulator. The FPPS4 interface is quite straightforward. On the left side, you will see the game list, while on the right, there are all different hack options that can be applied to the game. I have tested those hack options with few games, but with the hack option enabled, they just made my game completely unplayable, so I eventually gave up on using them. Currently, the PS4 emulator supports X input, so we can use an Xbox controller directly with this emulator. Additionally, we can also use the keyboard as a controller. To launch a PS4 game, you just have to select the game from the game list, then press Run FPPS4 on the right bottom corner. That's all we got on the first game, no graphics, just audio. On the Ally, we have exactly same problem for this game. On my gaming laptop, I was expecting something better than handheld PCs, but it turned out having the same problem. This game is listed as playable but it failed on all three devices. Maybe it requires a monster graphics to handle this indie game. I successfully booted up the second game, but once I got into the actual gameplay, it only had 4 to 5 FPS. This is terribly untouchable. This made me feel something is wrong with my Steam Deck, but after I switched to the Ally, the performance was even worse on the Ally. I only get average 2 to 3 FPS. This is the lowest FPS I have ever had on the Ally. On the gaming laptop, the result is quite unexpected. This is the RTX 3016 gaming laptop. It has almost the same performance as Ally for this game. All I can see is this emulator still have a long way to go. This game is listed as playable too on their compatibility list. This game can be emulated at 60 FPS on the Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and my gaming laptop, and it feels great. I hope there are more PS4 games that can be played at such level of smooth. This game just couldn't boot up on all three devices. It will keep loading for a while, then shut down automatically. There is no game image or audio at all. This one is the worst performer among all the games I tested in this video. The next game is loaded up successfully on the Steam Deck, but I only can get about 10 FPS. This is still unplayable. Unlikely this game is not even bootable on my Ally and gaming laptop. The Doom 1993 is on the compatibility list, but it failed to start on all three devices I have here. At this point, I am disappointed with their compatibility list. This 2D flying game has zero problem to launch, but it only got 2 to 3 FPS on all three devices. Another game that can't be loaded up on all three devices, even though it's listed as playable on the compatibility list. 
This one did boot up, but it stuck on this black screen on the Steam Deck, and it is stuck on the language selection screen on both Windows devices. Just another game that can reach only 2 to 3 FPS, everything feels just like ultra slow motion. I wouldn't consider this one is playable too since we only had average 10 FPS on all my systems. This is the third game that cannot even be started, it will open for a few seconds, then close automatically. This happened to all my devices. This is the last game I tested, it was still running ultra slow on all my devices. At this point, I have tested 12 games in this video and all those games are on the emulator's compatibility list. So there are 4 games that are completely unbootable, 7 games are running very very slow, about 3 to 5 FPS, only one game is playable. I think the PS4 emulator is just not ready yet, even for the 2D indie game. Initially, I was thinking to make a tutorial video about how to run the PS4 emulation, but with the current situation, I just gave up on the tutorial because I don't want to waste your time. But if you guys really want to see how the PS4 emulator running on the Steam Deck, please leave a comment below. I might make a guide for how to play PS4 game on the Steam Deck in 2024. I think that's all for this one. Let me know what's your opinion on the PS4 emulator.